Tell me about faith in your life and the importance of God in your life. You know, that's, uh, that's, that's number one. And, and, and like I said, I, I can't take credit for that. I was raised that way. And, uh, you know, when I became of age, I remember I was 14 years old at the uh, FCA convention when I gave my life to Christ for myself. Not for my mother, but for myself. And uh, that's when my life changed. And uh, it's nothing I feel like I can't overcome now because of my faith. Tell me about Christ in your life today. You know, it, it, well, it took me 24 years to get back here. <laughs> I was here like three times in seven years. Yes. And uh, so I, he, he was, he's good in my life today. He's, you know, he's always a presence in my life today. And, you know, I have a, a grandson now, um, just turned one. And, uh, you know, so I, I, no complaints, sir. I mean, he's, he's been good. What has been discipleship for you been like this year? Coaches, Bible studies, and opportunities to grow in your faith. Obviously, you're a coach, too, and that's important, but to be a man of Christ and grow in your faith. You know, sometimes you can get caught up, especially in this football. It's a very intense business, and you can get caught up in X's and O's and personnel, but we're here for a reason. And I think any time when, when I see someone struggling or see someone that may need a, uh, some encouragement, that's an opportunity to you know, just to share Christ with them a little bit. And, and, and some of them, they already know Christ, just talk Christ with them. So you, you're always coaching next to those, but I do think, you know, we're here for a reason and, and, and we're here to share our faith as well. How important is it as a coach to use your platform to be the best representative of Jesus that you can be? Well, you know, he put me here for a reason. And uh, I, I try to do that whenever I can because of that. And, and I try not to forget that. And sometimes this life is fast, and you can forget that. Gratitude. That's a question I've been asking a lot of guys here about gratitude and being grateful. You're at another Super Bowl. It took a long time for you to get back. You're here. As we wind down here, just tell me about gratitude in your life and just how grateful you are right now. You know, I'm, I'm so glad I don't get what I deserve. <laughs> yes, that's why I'm, I'm very thankful uh, each and every day, um, to thankful for what I have and, and what's to come. Anthony Lynn, thanks and congratulations. Thank you very much.